Police admit that some drone sightings during Gatwick closure crisis may have been of their own surveillance drones. Here's a summary of the article. Some drone sightings during the closure of Gatwick Airport before Christmas may have been of police drones, senior police officer says. Speaking on Saturday, Giles York, the chief constable of Sussex Police said that he could not rule out the possibility that some sightings of drones reported during the incident were of drones that police had flown over the airport for surveillance purposes. It is possible that some of the drone sightings that forced Gatwick Airport to close for nearly two days in the week before Christmas were of police drones which were themselves hunting the malicious drones which shut the airport, a senior police officer has said. Speaking on BBC Radio FA's Today programme on Saturday, Giles York, the Chief Constable of Sussex Police said that he could not rule out the possibility that some sightings of drones reported during the incident were of drones that Sussex Police had flown over the airport for surveillance purposes. We will have launched our own Sussex Police drones at the time, with a view to investigate, engage and survey the area. So there could be some level of confusion there as well, York said after being questioned about a previous report that there may have been no drone at all. Last week Detective Chief Superintendent Jason Tingley said there was always a possibility that there may not have been any genuine drone activity in the first place, because police relied on human witnesses to the sighting. About 1,000 aircraft were either cancelled or diverted, according to the BBC. The British Army, who was deployed to Gatwick to respond to the drone reports last week, used unidentified military technology to help airport authorities with the situation, the BBC said. This post received a score of 43,489, with an upvote ratio of 86%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Sounds like a Monty Python sketch. Sir we've also spotted a suspicious car with two men in it, it's been sitting there all day. I think they're spying on us, don't worry we have two agents in plain clothes controlling the area, we'll tell them to check it out thanks that, wait, wait, they're leaving the car. They received a phone call and are leaving the car, damn, maybe they've noticed our agents, I'll tell them to get back in position, wait now the two men are going back in the car. Something's up. I'll get the boys we're stopping them. Men, charge. Stop those two, no time now, agent. My two men in plain CL. The officer spent around 20 minutes giving chase before a sergeant came into the CCTV control room, recognized the suspect, and laughed hysterically at the mistake. Classic. What they aren't telling you is that the sergeant recognized the suspect within five minutes but let his officer carry on because the radio traffic was golden and he needed to get his lieutenant in on it. Greater than carry on. I think I've seen that one. Carry on constable would definitely have used a scene like this if the setting had been more modern. Sidney James was a comic genius of his era. I'll have to watch one of the Carry On movies today in his honor. Okay most of you aren't reading the article there were like 112 calls about drones. The police were saying that some of those calls could have been made about police drones that were dispatched at that time. They aren't saying that the drone that caused havoc was their own, they're saying that hey maybe some of these calls are coming because of our own drones, this could explain the high amount of calls we got about it. Remember when it first started happening there was reports of more than one drone? Yay, this is what they're admitting. Granted, yes they should have let people know at the time well some of those are ours but they probably didn't want people to feel like they didn't have to call because oh it's probably just a police drone. Some people, I believe, might be deliberately misinterpreting the headline, in order to make it look like the whole thing was a fabrication. The misinterpreted version of the headline, story is way more funny, outrageous, newsworthy than what the guy you commented on wrote. That's why the headline was intentionally written to be easily misunderstood, to gain karma or clicks. It's less people wanting to misinterpret the headline but rather many just reading oh look incompetent police lols, upvoting and then continue to scroll without bothering to read what actually happened. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.